Here's another Newton's second law example that's a 2D problem. So in this scenario, you have a, a barge, that's a, a, a boat that's used for transporting goods, and that barge is uh, floating on a canal, and there's two horses standing on either side of the canal that uh, have a harness and a rope attached to the barge, and those two horses are pulling the barge along the canal. So a top-down view would be a barge here, it's floating on the water, there's two ropes connected to two horses that are standing here. I can't draw a horse, especially not a top view of a horse, so I'm just essentially drawing the, the ropes. Really, I'm just drawing the force vectors on the barge. And both horses are the same strength. They're both pulling with 600 newtons of force, uh, but they're pulling at slightly different angles, 30 degrees and 45 degrees, with respect to this forward direction. And I'm calling that forward direction x, and I'm calling a perpendicular direction y. So again, this is a top view. We're looking down. So both x and y are in the horizontal plane, but x is in the forward direction of motion, y is in the perpendicular direction. So let's figure out the barge's acceleration vector. We'll use Newton's second law to do this, and this is now a 2D problem, so we're going to use the x and y equations. To do that, we need to split these vectors into x and y components. And that just involves some simple trigonometry. If you look at F1, F1x is the um, component going in that forward direction and it's the adjacent side of this right triangle, so it would be F1 cosine theta 1, and F1y is that perpendicular part. F1y gets the sine of that angle, and similarly for F2, Uh, picture's not drawing the scale. It's still not to scale, but you get the idea. Oops. Uh, that's F2x, that's F2y, there's F2. And the x component is adjacent, so it gets cosine. Theta 2, F2y is opposite Okay, so let's write down Newton's second law in the x direction We add up all the forces in x there are two of them. There's one from each horse. We've got F1x and F2x, or F1 cosine theta 1 plus F2 cosine theta 2. So the x component of acceleration is F1 cos theta 1 plus F2 cos theta 2 over M. You plug in all those numbers and it equals 0 0.472 meters per second squared in the y direction. We use Newton's second law for those y components. And we've got 
F1Y that's pointing in the positive Y direction. And we got F2Y that's pointing in the negative Y direction. That was F1 sine theta one, F2 sine theta two. So a y is all that stuff, and it equals. second squared, meaning it, it's um, going slightly this way, slightly to the right of forward. And I'm running out of room here. I think I can erase this stuff now. We have expressed our acceleration in component form, but as we often want to do, will express it in magnitude angle form as well. So the magnitude of acceleration is given by the Pythagorean theorem, 0.476 meters per second squared. And the angle of that net acceleration vector six degrees and it's going it's going like that because it has a, a positive x component and a negative y component so we're accelerating a little bit to the right of the forward direction And notice how I, I wrote this. Uh, some, you might have wanted to say that it's 7.46 degrees below the x-axis, but um, saying it that way would be a little confusing because below would kind of makes it sound like it's pointing underground. Because um, remember, x and y are both in the horizontal plane for this example. So what's really happening is the barge is, is going this way, which is slightly to the right of the x-axis, which would be straightforward. So I think this is a clearer way of writing that.